Sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow or text the word cow to 500500 to get a free audiobook today. Guys, guys, guys. These are troubled times we live in. It seems that every week there's a new celebrity who it turns out is just as terrible a person as I've always presumed that all Hollywood celebrities are. It's not helping my cynicism. And so this has created a national conversation about what is and what is not appropriate when it comes to interacting with the opposite sex. Sorry. We gotta try and keep these videos monetized. How do you treat women with respect in this day and age? That's the question. Because it seems like the rules are changing. And a lot of guys, well, I see that they're worried. They're worried that this is our future. Um, did you just make eye contact with me without my consent? Uh, Are you speaking to me without my consent? Just no. Just stand there, don't look at me, don't say anything, and maybe, just maybe, I won't press charges. Stop! Stop looking at me! <laughs> yeah, that's it, I'm pressing charges. You what? took that too far. Please! I have a family! Is this where this whole thing is headed? Is this the slippery slope? Is this the only way to respect women? To live life terrified all the time? I humbly submit to you that, no. No, th this in fact is not actually the case. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say that nothing has changed. Really, for those making an honest effort to respect women and be a decent human being, literally nothing is different. Because I don't think there are that many decent guys out there doing things that they need to be worrying about. <laughs> I'm having a great time tonight. <laughs> Are you serious? Really? How embarrassing you would do this to me? I, a guy can't even playfully touch a girl's leg in, in these this day and age? Wow. Is this what I have to look forward to the rest of my life? See, I don't think most normal guys do this stuff because we, we recognize it puts girls in, in a weird spot. <laughs> if she says something about my hand touching her knee, I'll make her feel so bad for making a big deal about it. And if she doesn't say anything about it, well then, it's all systems go and we're headed to make out city. <laughs> Girls, if this is the kind of bro you find yourself around often, find a new crowd. You know those guys who are always just borderline? Never quite enough to actually say something out loud, but just uncomfortable enough that you always feel a little weird. Just find some new friends, that's my advice. <laughs> wow, well it was really great hanging out with you tonight. Um, let's bring it in for a hug. Oh, uh See, because a normal guy, a true friend, if something makes you feel uncomfortable, you can just talk about it, and it's not a big deal. Hey, so I know you don't mean anything by it, but when you tell me that I should smile more, it kind of makes me feel like you look at me as like a piece of ornamentation instead of as your friend. Can you just live with me where I am instead of telling me to smile? Huh, I, I never thought about it that way, but that makes sense, and I'm really sorry. Thanks. You're welcome. And See, the rules haven't changed, okay? The same ones still apply that have always applied. Respect her space, respect her body, respect her person, and don't put her in uncomfortable positions. I mean, that <laughs> that's really it. That, that should not be difficult or controversial. Men don't need to feel threatened, okay? Everything, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I really am having a great time with you tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Seriously? What? What is the big deal? Please, somebody explain to me. What is the big deal? Stay tuned for a scene from our next episode. You know, guys, it's it's always good to be constantly bettering yourself, and audiobooks are a great way to do that. Whether you want to feel healthier, get motivated, or learn something new. Our friends at Audible carry such audiobooks as Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The 4-Hour Workweek, The Sleep Revolution. There are so many great resources for bettering yourself on Audible. Audible helps you listen to more books, too, by switching seamlessly between devices. It's all synced up, so you can pick up exactly where you left off, whether you're in the car, on the phone, 
phone, tablet, wherever. Audible members get a credit every month that's good for an audiobook in their store regardless of the price. And unused credits roll over to the next month. And if you don't like an audiobook, exchange it with no questions asked. Plus, the books are yours to keep. Re-listen to them whenever and hang on to them even if you cancel. I suggest checking out the audiobook The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. It's a great one. Right now, Audible is offering our viewers a free audiobook when you start a 30-day trial at audible.com slash cow. Or you can text the word cow to 500-500. Go browse their unmatched selections of audio programs. Again, get your year started on the right foot by going to audible.com slash cow. Or just text the word cow to 500-500 and get a free audiobook today. Next week on Messy Mondays, Big Head Kid is forced to do damage control after his biggest mistake. I never thought I would be the one to make this video. I've seen them all the time on YouTube. I want to apologize to all my hundreds of subscribers. You guys have been commenting what's wrong. What's wrong, big kid? kid? Well, the other day in youth group, I saw two babes on the couch. And what did I ask them? I asked them a question. I said, is there room for me? There was not room for me. And I sat down. Now I'm kicked out of the youth group and they're going to have a purity class and I don't even get to be there. I like hearing them talk about it. Are you serious? Really? I, I, I can't even touch a girl's leg playfully, really? Oh, well then I guess hashtag you too, huh?